drug lords get the death penalty. No. There's a range of things. Some people say yes, some people say no. If drugs are coming from other countries, there should be harsher punishment. However, I don't believe that they deserve the death penalty. Um, the People's Republic of China, uh, a person who smuggles, traffics in, transport, or manufactures opiums of not less than a thousand grams, heroin or uh, methylaline of not less than 50 grams or other narcotic drugs of large quantities, ring leaders of gangs engaged in smuggling, trafficking in, or manufacturing illegal drugs, persons who shield these people, persons who violently resist inspection, detention, or arrest to a serious extent, or persons involved in organized international drug trafficking. They, in China, they execute them. And they do that by firing squad or lethal injection. So, should there be harsher punishment in the United States, or should we give them some rehabilitation? Uh, because in, in the United States of America, large mixtures of heroin, cocaine, PCP, acid, marijuana, and meth, you get, you die by lethal injection when you're convicted. Um, there was one in uh, 2010 in Oklahoma. Somebody was um, put down by lethal injection for dealing drugs. It's not a common thing. You don't hear about it a lot. Um, people who deal large amounts of drugs might just need a little knowledge on how to change their life. They're addicted to money. Um, and when you get addicted to something, it's hard to become, per se, unaddicted. Um, and then the thing about it, you know, when people are dealing drugs, then they don't, they're not employed because that's their employment. So that goes back to criminal records and employment. You know, uh, should people hire people with criminal records? Yes, I believe everybody deserves a second chance. They might turn out to be some of your best workers. Now, um, the drugs coming, coming across the border from Mexico, I believe that there should be a lot of harsh punishments for that because I, I know, I've read, should I say, in different articles that those drugs get to children. Do I want my child getting a hold of it? No. Do y'all want your children getting a hold of it? No. So, what do we need to do to stop it? Should there be capital punishment? Um, I think the death penalty would be too easy for them. I believe that uh, life in prison, you know, make them suffer. Just like, you know, other people have suffered. money because drug dealers make a lot of money drug dealer I mean, when you we're talking about drug lords we're talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars they're, huh? millions. yeah millions mm -hmm. they're not they're not going to go to an employer and make that no. so you're gonna have to they're going to have to learn, you know, how to live off smaller means of money. And that's hard for drug courts. You know, they usually um, wind up in prison. A lot of, a lot of drug courts wind up dying in prison because they get life sentences. How about the prison system? Do you think that the prison system should help them overcome? 
I us. believe that in prison, uh, people should be should get rehabilitation. You know, there's all kinds of um, classes. People can get their GED. You can do all kinds of things in prison with your life to get you through. You know, uh, people can change, but it's hard. It's hard. They have to want to change. So, with that being said, just say no to drugs. 